welcome back to my channel it's jasmine and i'm back with some more content for you guys today i'm going to be working on a man cave which sounds super random for my channel but i'm really excited to share with you guys it's a little bit out of my comfort zone but it was a lot of fun so i hope you enjoy it so here's the room before they had cleared out all the furniture pretty much already we just had our work supplies in here there's blue on the walls because this was once a kid's room and that's pretty much the last time that it has been painted. So the first thing I did was dust off the walls because there was a lot of dust and grime on the walls and then I wiped down certain areas as well. And then I just wanted to check to make sure that we had the hardwood in this room as well because they wanted to rip up the carpet. And then I just patched up the walls and prepped for painting. like there was a crack through the ceiling there and I just patched it up so it's starting to dry and then I'll just sand it down and you won't even notice that there was a crack and as you could see I started pulling up the rug already but I'm going to paint first and then pull up the rug so that I don't have to worry about like covering it as much and I can just kind of paint over the rug and then remove it Okay, so it's painted, painted by the shelves. I just cleared the floor so that we can pull up the rug now. Well, so I can pull up the rug. done for today. We're back for day two. So today I'm going to work on the windows. I'm going to paint them black like we did in the other room. As you can see, they're like silver right now. And then work on the closet. This was the one. It is Rustoleum, this protective enamel, and it's in a flat black. So it's oil based, so it dries kind of fast. 
you have to work quickly with it. So all I'm doing for the closet is removing the doors. I want to add a fresh coat of paint and remove the carpet from the bottom of the closet. He's going to use this closet for his hiking and camping gear, so we're going to leave it pretty open for him to be able to organize his stuff in there. Okay, we're back for day three. We have this piece, which is similar to the other room. They had like a nightstand version. So we're gonna paint this one black. I usually don't paint wood, like I always say, but just for this room, this piece feels like very, like a kid's room piece. So we don't want this to feel like a kid's room. So we're gonna paint it black. And that's just a really simple, easy fix for this piece, like a $10 can of paint and yeah. We're using this paint this time. Last time we used a Valspar one, but this is made for cabinets. Um, and you don't have to sand it first. You can just put the paint directly on. And we had them mix a black color. Last time we got, grabbed this one, which I believe was probably from Lowe's. That's why we didn't get this one because we went to Home Depot this time. But same thing. And this one came in black. After the cabinet was done, I moved on to this desk, which they wanted to include in the room as well. I love the desk. I think it works fine. I just did not like the silver. So we're just going to use our leftover paint from the windows and paint the metal on this desk black. It's going to make this desk look a little bit more elevated and a little bit more in the same aesthetic as the rest of the room. I did want to figure out right off the bat was um, color scheme we already knew we wanted to reuse the paint from the other room so we had that pretty much down and so we first just started off with painting removing the rug the things that we knew for sure we wanted to do and then it was kind of up in the air with the design we weren't sure which direction we wanted to go we knew we wanted it to look more on the manly side but we weren't sure exactly what that would entail or what that would look like. We know that he really loves um, hiking and backpacking and like all the outdoorsy kind of stuff. So we thought we could come up with a concept that kind of gave off like a cabin vibe. So I found this wallpaper on Amazon, which I will link in the description box. And that's what we went with for the walls. We could have left them white, but I think it just gave a little bit more of a rustic feel. So I just prepped the shelves for decorating and then I went to look around their house for items that we could use on the shelf. I know he didn't want to spend a lot of money on shelf decor or any decor. So I wanted to be mindful of that and keep the decor part on as much of a budget as possible. I had some frames already in my car. So I just asked him for a couple pictures of things that were special to him that I could put on this shelf. 
and then also they had some lanterns and some oil lamps that we were able to incorporate as well which were beautiful and I think just a great accent to this room and then as far as decor that I purchased all I purchased was a few plants from Ikea um, a wooden box from Hobby Lobby that was on sale and then also a couple signs from Hobby Lobby that were also on sale but that's about it everything else on the shelves including these books that we found were just things from around their home this side we're gonna leave it open he wanted to do a tv mounted on the wall and then some sort of exercise equipment here so we're just gonna leave that open for him to decide when he's ready and then my thought for this shelf was they were talking about adding more storage on the shelf so maybe just doing like some baskets along the bottom and then along the top as well and then we had this lamp that I thrifted. When I did the last room makeover, I was just hanging on to it for this room. I didn't know what we were gonna do in this room, but this actually fits perfect with the theme and this was less than $10, it was on sale. So they decided they wanted to take their time with this room. So this room is definitely not done, but I'm going to show you what it looks like. Now they still wanna add a, some exercise equipment and a TV mounted on the wall. They just haven't really decided exactly what they wanna do and he's still organizing his stuff in the closet. So here's the before and I will show you the after. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below if there's anything that you would do a little bit differently. I would love to hear your suggestions. As always, keep spreading the love and light and I will catch you on the next one.